Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and welcome to another Foodie Friday. I know it has been a while and I am so sorry. Life is just insane right now. I know I've talked about that a lot in previous videos. However, I really, really mean it. This is just the busiest season of my life right now. Um, we've got 32 school days left. We are hiring a new principal and I've been on that search committee. Um, soccer has started. We're in the middle of the dance season. My family has slowly been working its way through strep throat. Everybody has had it. Now it's on to my daughter. She's the last one. We've had this going since February. It has just been crazy. So I am in a season right now where I am looking for fast and fresh and delicious meals that I can make healthy for both me and my family. So tonight I'm gonna show you a delicious recipe for some easy sheet pan chicken fajitas that are absolutely delicious the night you make them and every day after that that you decide to eat them as leftovers. I have got my entire office staff hooked on these. They're so incredibly good, ridiculously easy, and they reheat perfectly, which is what I look for when I'm making a meal, especially if I need it to last crazy busy weeks like this. So if you're here for it, Let's get started. All right, my friends, to get us started, I am going to be slicing down these chicken breast tenderloins that I picked up at my local grocery store. Tonight, not everybody is going to be eating this dinner, so I'm not gonna be making a ton of it. It is Thursday night, so I don't need a lot of leftovers for lunches this week. So I'm just gonna make this one package here. Normally, if I was feeding everybody, I would be making probably about three or four ch uh, large chicken breasts, but for today, this is gonna do. And if you wanna make this even more delicious, you can make this with chicken thighs if you prefer that, if you like a little bit of dark meat, but this is what I have, and using the tenderloins just make things really easy to cut down. I like to use these um, when I am cooking chicken and I need it to cook quickly. This is one of those tricks that you can do to just help move your meal along a little bit quicker is just to use a smaller piece of chicken. So while that is off to the side there, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my vegetables. I'm starting off with one yellow onion. You can use um, a white onion if you prefer that as well, but this is what I have on hand. So I am just going to cut it in half and then I am going to cut it kind of long ways here and leave the pieces a little bit larger because I'm going to be eating these with a fork and fajitas typically if you think about them at a restaurant the pieces are larger so that's what I'm doing here I'm just leaving them larger I'm going to separate them here in a bowl so that we can season them up in just a second I did use the entire onion you can use more or less that's up to you when you roast all of these vegetables, they're gonna get really sweet and delicious. So if you're like, I'm not really into onion or I'm not really into uh, the um, peppers, give it a shot because they really do get really sweet when you're baking them. For our peppers, I'm going to be using a red and an orange pepper. Again, this is completely up to you and your preference, but these are the peppers that I prefer. Again, they're a little bit on the sweeter side. Go ahead and cut them in half here. If you saw how I cored those, this is a really easy way to get all of the seeds out of the center. And then you're gonna kinda julienne them, just cut them in long slivers here. So watch again when I cut the red pepper if you missed it the first time, but this is a really easy way to get all of the insides out of your peppers. So cut off the top, cut off the bottom, and then you're going to take your knife and just kind of rim the inside and cut off all of the seeds from the inside off of the rib there, and then cut it in half, and then go ahead and julienne this. I don't know why I cut it this way. Typically, my best advice to you is to not cut your peppers from the outside in. They're soft on the outside and smooth, and it's 
really hard to run your knife through them. So turn them inside out and cut them that way. It is much, much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get my peppers here into the bowl. And now we're going to season them up. So I'm starting off with about a tablespoon or so of avocado oil. I love to use avocado oil for this recipe because we're going to be cooking this in the broiler. So you want to use an oil that isn't going to smoke. Go ahead and salt it really well. I'm using kosher salt along with some freshly cracked pepper. And now we're gonna season it up with chili powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. And our entire recipe is gonna call for about a teaspoon of each. I am using about a half a teaspoon here of each of those. Give it a really good stir, and then uh, this will be ready to go. If you are doing more than this because you're making some for the week, if you're meal planning, or if you're making it for more people, definitely make sure that you season it properly. Uh, you want to season it you know really really well so if you're doubling this make sure you double those seasonings as well i've got a cookie sheet here that i've lined with some uh, tin foil i'm going to go ahead and spread out my vegetables as uh, thinly as i can here as evenly spaced so that they get some good color on all of them I turned my broiler on while I started cutting all of my vegetables and I'm going to pop this in on high for about five minutes while I finish dressing my chicken. Coming back to our chicken, again I'm starting off with about a tablespoon of avocado oil and I'm going to season the chicken with exactly the same thing. So uh, kosher salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and then chili powder, onion powder, and garlic powder again. And again, just make sure that you use enough seasoning that all of your chicken slices get properly seasoned and that way you don't have anything left that's bland. Chicken really doesn't have a ton of flavor. In fact, I really don't like the taste of chicken by itself. So I always try to make sure that I am seasoning mine really, really well because it just has such a weird taste if you don't. So go ahead and give that a good stir. You can let this kind of sit for a while if you prefer. If you want to let it get some good marinade before you add this to your sheet you can however I just gave mine a stir brought it right over to my sheet pan grabbed that out of the oven so here you can see that they're getting a nice color to them and now you're going to add this to your pan so I just kind of dump mine on and again spread them out so that they're you know spread out and in an even row um, as much as possible you really don't want them laying on top of each other because you want them to be able to cook evenly so you have nice evenly cut slices that are spread out across your sheet pan slip that back into your oven and turn that on for about 10 minutes let that broil for about 10 minutes or so keep an eye on it but that should be good to go while that is in the broiler i'm going to go ahead and shred up my cheese for today i am using some jalapeno monterey jack as well as some yellow sharp cheddar the combination of these two cheeses give it a little bit of tang as well as some spice and i really really like that you can use whatever cheeses you prefer you can use a mexican blend of a pre-shredded shredded cheese you could also just use a monterey jack a colby jack anything that you prefer this is just what i have on hand and what i think tastes the best with this recipe Once your cheese is shredded, go ahead and grab your sheet pan out of the oven and 
go ahead and put your cheese all over your chicken and vegetables. You'll want to keep an eye out on your chicken. Um, I took mine out about a minute or so before the timer went off. They were looking like they were ready. And the great thing about the broiler is it gives it, gives it a nice little char without going outside. So it's kind of chilly today. So this worked out nicely. Um, but you do want to keep an eye out on it because you don't want it to overcook. Pop that back in your oven for a minute or so until it gets nice and melted. Let it get a little bit blackened and this is what it should look like. My house is smelling incredible and this is so fast and easy. I mean, literally, we're less than 20 minutes in the oven and this is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and cut up some fresh cilantro and we're going to dress up our fajitas and get ready to eat. Okay, my friends, our fajitas are done. Here they are. Now I have mine in a bowl. You don't have to eat yours in a bowl. This is just how I like to eat it. Um, I like it with a little bit of sour cream. I did use Cholula, that's the hot sauce of my choice. However, if you are also trying to keep your carbs down, you can use the Mission Zero Net Carb Tortillas. These are really, really good. They're little and tiny, but each tortilla is zero carbs, so that is fantastic. If you do use more than one, make sure that you do your macros correctly. Make sure that you calculate them properly. However, they're absolutely delicious. I love those. I also recently discovered these cheese wraps. These are literally like cheese tortillas. So you could use these to also eat your chicken fajitas. Um, and I think that this would be absolutely delicious. But for tonight, I am sticking with my all-time favorite and that is just in a bowl, just like this. I think that they have all the flavor you could possibly need in anything. My mouth is watering. It's always watering when I get to this part of these videos. But we're gonna try it, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything on my bite. peppers are super sweet they get really sweet when you roast them and the chicken is delicious it's got a ton of flavor and that hot sauce just takes it up a notch so incredibly good so incredibly easy and fast my family's gonna be home any second from soccer practice I'm going to devour this while I'm home alone in silence and clean up a little bit before everybody gets here so that when they get home they have a nice delicious hot meal they can rest relax take showers and we can all have a little bit of downtime before we do it all over again tomorrow that is it for this week's foodie friday i'm so sorry that i have been delayed on these videos i hope that you enjoyed it i know it's been a while and i hope you found this delicious fast easy meal to be something inspiring for you if you try it let me know you can tag me on instagram at charlotte grove farmhouse or let me know down below and until the next one happy eating my friends